Are you still farming old World of Warcraft content like this? What if I told you that there is a quick and easy way to boost up your movement speed to almost 200% without any buffs at all? That is close to mount speed but indoors and it only takes you around 1-2 to two, two hours to get it done. What's up everyone? This is Mayo and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Now. Let me tell you how to get started on your speed set. This video will be showing you how I got my druid up to speed. If you find this video helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel and smack that thumbs up button. Okay, let's continue with the video. You can get a speed set on every class. But to get the absolute most, most of it, I recommend doing this on a druid because they have a really good baseline movement speed while in cat form and have start gear that is really easy to get. So, first of all, you need to take your druid over to Nachatar, and you need to buy your shoulder piece and your chest piece from this vendor right here. And you need to make sure you select the long strider trade in the last row on both those pieces. After that, you can either farm out Toldagor for the headpiece, it drops from the last boss in the instance, and you would like to get it with as high item level as possible. The dungeon is soloable on normal at level 60 with decent gear, but I highly recommend you to bring some friends for faster clears. If you don't want to farm out Toldagor, you can check your map to see if there's any world quest up that awards you with Azerite armor pieces. The item you're aiming for is called Gonk Outrunner Mask. When you have collected all these three items, it's time to craft your Shadowlands Legendary. The item you want to craft is called Oath of the Elder Druid. If you don't have the Legendary power, don't worry, it's really simple to get. All you need to have is 1500 honor points. And when you have that, you need to go to this vendor right here in Ouroboros and just buy the power straight from him. I crafted my item level at around uh, item level 225 because I had the soul ash for it and I had the gold. I did my legendary as a wrist piece with a focus on mastery because that was my highest stat. You see, you want to stack as much as you can in one stat. So I highly recommend you to pick the one that you have the most of. It doesn't really matter if it's haste, crit, or verse, or mastery. You just pick the one that you have the most of. I would really recommend going for crit here since it seems like it's the easiest stat to get your hands on. After you've got your Azerite armor and your legendary, it's time to get at least three gem slots. I got one socket in my legendary wrist and I got sockets in both my rings. The three sockets you should buy or craft, it's up, totally up to you, is called Straddling Viridum, Straddling Sage Agate and Straddling Jewel Doublet. After that, I bought some Alloy Wrapping Faster from Archivist Rosuir, but to get this, you need to have at least one character at tier 6 reputation with the Archivist Codex. It doesn't have to be on the Druid, but at least one character on your account. The reason I bought this is because of the Straddling Jewel Doublet Gem. The more sockets that I have, the more speed I get. Now on to the final part of your build. You want to buy or farm boots that are item level 50 or below. The reason you can't have a higher item level is because you won't be able to put on this enchant right here. The enchant minor speed. This enchant is very important because it bumps up your movement speed with 10%. I also enchanted my cloak with fortified speed for 3% increased movement speed and my rings with mastery since... Yeah, that's the stat I'm aiming for. After you've done all these steps, you can now enjoy a blazing fast druid that you can farm old content for mounts, transmog, or whatever you feel like farm. With this set, I got up to 199% movement speed in cat form with no buffs at all. It is insane if I compare the difference between my druid with the speed set and the one without it. But hold on, I have some bonus tips as well. If you enjoy raiding, I recommend you try and get the Titanic Ocular Gland, the trinket from the Eye of the Jailer. 
the second boss in Sanctum of Domination. The trinket will boost your highest secondary stat with a minimum of 109. And even if it doesn't do that much to your overall speed, it's at this point that every little thing counts. I would also recommend you to join the Venthyr Covenant and pick Tirithar as your soulbind. You should get at least Renown level 45 so you can unlock the trait Life is but an appetizer. This trait will boost your speed stat by 60 when you're well fed, and you will be that to maximize your speed, right? Then let's go over to your well fed buff. I would say go with the fried bonefish instead of bear tartar. Fried bonefish gives you a massive 308 increased speed stat, while bear tartar only gives you 87 increased stat speed. There is also shards that drop from the raid, and you should get the shard of oath and the max that one out it will give you a 60 speed stat increase and in my case that bumped my movement speed up to a whopping 204 percent after this if you want to get even faster you can try to get some gear with the speed stat on it but if you follow along this far you're really fast now you will be faster running around in cat form than running around in your travel form and that is insane if you're still watching this video, that must mean you like this video. So I would appreciate if you hit that like button, it really helps me out. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more future WoW content. I hope you enjoy this video and until next time, stay safe, stay speedy, and most important of all, keep farming. See ya!